Hello, welcome to this presentation of Sage to FileMaker. My name is Oren Martirosian. I'm going to show you how to access Sage data in your FileMaker applications. So what's FileMaker? FileMaker is a very powerful program which allows you to take uh, data and then use it to create applications for things like iPhones, iPads, as well as Windows and Mac. Uh, with FileMaker Server, which is an optional add-on, you can then also deploy that using any browser. So what is Sage to SQL? Well, Sage to SQL is a program which takes the Sage data and uh, puts it into SQL tables. It runs on a scheduler and it covers pretty much all of the key tables within Sage and it can be expanded very easily. So why do we need Sage to SQL? Well, Sage provides its data in a flat file system. That means that uh, it that results in inefficient access to the data, especially for reporting and integration. Uh, tasks. Furthermore, the Sage ODBC driver isn't supported in FileMaker, which only supports Oracle, SQL Server, and MySQL. So, in effect, what SQL to Sage does is it converts the flat file Sage t files into SQL Server tables. And having done that, those tables can then be easily linked in FileMaker for use in your application. So let's have a quick look at that. So I'll start off in Sage and I can see here that A1 Designs uh, is set up as a A1 Design Services and let's say they've just changed their names and they've just become incorporated. So I'll save that and that is now A1 Designs Limited. Now if I go into FileMaker we can see that that is at the moment A1 Designs Services. So let's go and update that. Now, in the update program, what I'll do is I'll start a new log file and I can either do all of the tables and the tables include customers, suppliers, products, prices, tax, nominal, purchase order, sales order, stock and audit. But I can use any, I can get hold of any of the data that I want. I can run it on a scheduler so I can get it to update every five minutes or every 10 minutes or I can select a particular um, table set that I'm interested in. So in this case it's only the customer ones that I'm interested in so I'll just run that and off it goes it accesses Sage, takes the Sage data and updates it to SQL Server. So if I now go back into my FileMaker application and go to the customer table which is linked I can then from here go to records and refresh and there you go you can see that that's now using the latest Sage data and this can be running in the background updating it uh, as you like and in this uh, FileMaker application that I've got I've linked it to all the tables that uh, Sage uh, to SQL actually gives access to. So the benefits of using Sage to FileMaker is that there's no need for you to understand any uh, Sage uh, uh, tables or structures or relationships. It's very quick to set up and uh, it's very cost effective. Typically it takes less than half an hour to set this thing up. It's incredibly easy to use because you just use your normal file maker and SQL skills. Um, there's less chance of errors because you're not using batch imports. It's live data. And it can be very easily changed. You can create your normal SQL views as and when you want and all the normal SQL functionality that you need having got the data out of Sage. There are also various different add-ons. In particular, there's one called FileMaker to Sage, which then allows you to take your FileMaker data and then put that back into Sage. Things like, I don't know, new orders or new customers or new suppliers, anything that you like, or new stock items. Uh, in a summary, it makes processing of data between Sage and FileMaker a lot more efficient. Well, thank you very much for your time and interest. Um, my name is Aura Martirosian, so please feel free to email me your queries or uh, to discuss uh, the content of the video or if there's anything else that you need help with. Thank you.